Welcome back, cult followers! Now, we've been having a lot of scary fun watching a film about zombies rising from their graves to take over the land of the living. But what about the real zombie experience? We have one of the Twin Cities' most popular stand-up comedians on our show this evening to answer those very questions. Ladies and gentlemen, we give you Zombie Shelly Paul! Thank you so much. Oh, good to be here. It's great. Uh, my uh, parents believe in Jesus Christ being their personal Lord and Savior because he was killed and rose from the dead, which is weird because I did that too, and they don't believe in me at all, right? So I go to church every Sunday because of him, and they still refuse to come to a single one of my comedy shows. Ugh. I, I try to make myself feel better, you know, by saying that it's probably because they're afraid I'm going to eat them. But I know the truth is they're much more afraid that I'm going to embarrass them. Ugh. I got I got body shamed a lot when I was alive for being fat, you know, not exercising and eating too much. Um, but I just want all those people to know uh, I've now started running after my food. Oh, it kind of sucks, you know, that I can't go through the drive through anymore. Uh, I was trying to order pizza for a while, but they caught on when, you know, none of the drivers were coming back. Uh, when I was alive, uh, I always wondered how my dog could still get so excited every single time I fed him, when he always ate the same thing every day, you know? Now, I really feel for the guy, right? Because every day, for me, it's the same thing. Breakfast, brains. Lunch, brains. Dinner, brains, 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 brains. Oh, look at me rattling on about brains again. <laughs> I'm such a zombie. <laughs> it's, it's not all about eating brains, though, you know? And, and I feel like a lot of people don't know that, right? Like, that's, that's not the only thing we do, you know? I mean... Eating brains does take up a significant amount of my time, right? But for the rest of the day, I'm just going about my activities like I would when I was alive, you know? And which means that I still mostly watch TV, right? But the main difference now is that every channel is the Food Network. Speaking of TV, uh, now that I'm a zombie, Everybody always assumes that I must love The Walking Dead, right? And I think that's pretty messed up, you know, because first of all, that show doesn't exactly portray us in a positive light, you know, and be like people assuming that everybody from New Jersey must love the Jersey Shore, right? It doesn't, doesn't make sense. And second of all, the Walking Dead is way too scary for me. I can't handle horror, you know, I have nightmares. Which, I can't even keep mirrors in my house anymore, you know? Just uh, I, uh, right. so, Halloween is coming up, you guys, and it's always a really hard time of year for me, you know? Just having to watch all of these living people just dressing up like the undead. You know, they watch one YouTube tutorial, slap on a bunch of special effects makeup, and so they can look like a zombie for one day, go home, wipe it off, and go back to their jobs the next, right? I can't even get a job, you know? No one will hire me looking like this year round, right? And I can't just go home and wipe this skin off, right? 
or I can, you know, because it's dead and very loosely attached, but you know what I mean. Um, the worst are the sexy zombies, right? There's no such thing as a sexy zombie, you know? We smell like death. Our bodies are literally rotting, right? The last person to grab my boob still has it. All right, it's been great. I'm Zombie Shelly Paul. Thanks, you guys. One more time for Zombie Shelly Paul, everybody. Oh, yes, look at her shambler. Thank you. I'm so glad we could finally get thank you on the show. Thank have you, a seat. Thank have you. a seat. Oh, Shelly, we have been trying to get you on our stage here at Cult Classic for months. That was good stuff. Good stuff. Excellent yeah. set. Thank Excellent you. set. You are in demand right now. I'll tell you that much. What were you doing before you came to Cult Classic? What was your last big gig, as they say in the biz? Um, well, uh... I spent the last month um, working uh, inside of a haunted hayride, um, uh, which is uh, not great, uh, but... Uh, it sounds like death. Get it? You're, you're dead? <laughs> yes, that does sound like a terrible job to have. Uh, uh, so, uh, zombie, Shelly, Paul, like, what is, what is, are you a local resident here in, in Minnesota? Um, I, I do, I do live here in Minnesota, well, I don't <laughs> live here anymore, but I, I reside here, so. Uh, Shelly, zombie Shelly Paul, tell us, what is the most famous brain you've ever eaten? You know, um, it was a, a fellow comedian, oh, well, I feel kind of weird saying fellow, but, uh, you know, it was uh, actually George Carlin. What? Um, you ate George Carlin's brain? I, uh, <laughs> that is incredible. It, uh, it was in, in, until I realized it wasn't actually George Carlin after oh, all. No, uh, so you didn't find the pork chops, kid? This is, this is stupid book. Well, who did you eat? Did you just murder a man that looked like my stepdad? What did you do? No, uh, it turns out it was just some other guy whose name was George Curlin. Close, oh, but, uh, an easy mistake. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I've eaten a man named Joaquin Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> so, tell me, you mentioned your relationship briefly with your parents. How has becoming a zombie affected that? Um, well, I'll tell you a story that happened recently. Um, you know, I was out, uh, you know, I was out and about, um, and uh, I almost ran into my dad uh, in the wild, right, Ugh. unplanned, which is no thanks, you know what I mean, pass on that. But, uh, you know, I was uh, out and uh, I uh, saw a car cross in, in, uh, in front of me on the road. It happened to look like my dad's car. Pulled into what happened to me on my dad's bank, and I was kind of like, ah, oh, crap, because the thing uh, said I had also just taken a bite of a brain, you know, and <laughs> I was uh, really worried that he had seen that, you know, so uh, what I did was I just ran away. Um, <laughs> You just shambled <laughs> off into the night. Just ran away. <laughs> Thank you so much for being on Cult Classic Zombie Shelly Paul, everybody. And now we return you to Night of the Living Dead. Well, that certainly was uplifting. Yes. My favorite part was when everybody died. Mm-hmm, that's interesting. My favorite part was getting blind drunk on tub time booze. When sobriety strikes, it's, it's tub, tub time. time. And of course, we must thank our wonderful guest chef at Katie Romanski of the Minnesota Nice Cream Ice Cream Food Truck. And of course, Zombie Shelly Paul and all of the wonderful people at the station for making this broadcast possible. Keep watching Cult Classic Kids and always remember, stay plugged in, stay tuned, 
and stay alive!